ABC. Start here. Welcome to Wipeout, where our contestants take on obstacles from the crazy minds of our engineer. Hey, who are you calling crazy? Johns, you're both pretty crazy. In round one, there are five obstacles. All unique and challenging, not to mention hilarious and amusing. The dirty balls are a series of balls that are, well, dirty. Each player must jump across them trying to keep out of the mud. Dirty balls, dirty contestants, let's get this mud slinging started. Welcome to Plank in the Face, where our contestants must cross a series of horizontal beams. Well, that sounds weird, really John. Yeah, but some of these planks pivot in the middle, sending the plank right into the old gob. Try and guess which is which. Go on, I dare you. Wipeout's infamous big balls consist of four monstrous red balls mounted in a large tank of water. Scurry across these inflated behemoths to the platform on the other side and you're home free. The fence flapper consists of a series of vertical panels that flip up as a player moves past them. Once again, quickness is an asset. Sense of humor or personality? Eh, not so much. The rug pull is a wide beam suspended over water with two rugs stretched across it. You step on a rug and it's suddenly pulled one way or the other. And for our contestants, this little carpet ride will be anything but magic. Meet most likely to succeed. A man who dreams of opening an online fitness studio. Sounds pretty worldwide weird. all over the dirty balls here. And here's Cannonball, a man with an odd fashion sense and unique dreams, like opening a pet resort. <laughs> Don't ask me, I just work here. Did somebody say wipe out? Meet Party Queen who wants to win so she can drop out of the rat race and party all the time. Ooh, painful to watch. Next up is Knockout, who dreams of hiring an Olympic trainer that she can knock the stuffing out of. Oh, she's hard to watch. Made wise choices on the planks, Johnny. Starting with choosing not to fall. He went down, but 
but he went down smiling. Apparently he fell in the sun. Never gets old. You got that right. Oh, oh a personal trainer's gonna make her do extra. Are we sure he's never done big balls before? Positive. Are we sure he's never done big balls before? Positive. And you thought this was gonna be... Oh, obviously she is not a great ball handler. Not a hoops girl, huh? by that pesky fence. Blacked into oblivion! Better luck next time! Oh, that... Wow. She's a gold-driven gal! Johnny, he showed great speed and timing on the rug ball. That rug really tied the obstacle together. That pull was a bit of a surprise. Ooh, the rug was pulled and she went flying. After one round, you can understand. In round two, everybody faces the dreaded sweeper. Yeah, bad for them, good for us. The sweeper is a last person standing game in which four contestants stand on pedestals while a large mechanical arm sweeps past. Each player must jump the arm or be swept into the water below, otherwise known as Game Show Oblivion. Sweeping out the trash! Ding! The clock just hit midnight on this Cinderella tale. I love that story. Looks like she might have been counting her chickens before they hatched. And now the egg is squarely on her face. You know, if you looked up athletic in the dictionary, you wouldn't see this guy. Trash! You 
you think he'd be upset about that? The good news is... a very special at the end of round two here are the standings let's see if the job in round three it's a free-for-all yeah just like my family reunions the bullseye buoys are floating targets that each contestant must jump to and balance on. Miss the target and you are teetering off the edge and into the water below. In the keyhole spinner, each contestant climbs onto a large spinning cone and through a small gate in the center. Then they descend down the other side trying to reach the far platform without falling into the drink. Obstacles were no match. The keyhole spinner was just too much. No luck on the keyhole spinner. He navigates the keyhole spinner with ease. Here's how we stand after three and rounds. The wait is over. We finally reached the wipeout zone. And a big bag of cash awaits the winner. The first obstacle in the wipeout zone is the catapult. Not much strategy here, folks. Just sit back and enjoy the flight. It's non-stop, with plenty of in-flight entertainment. At least for us. Then the barrel run, where the contestant gets out of the water and runs up a ramp. Of course, red barrels will be flying down that ramp. Of course they will. The player must hurdle each one of those barrels until they reach the top. The Gears of Doom consist of three large, padded gears that rotate automatically. Our contestants must jump from one to the other, timing each leap to avoid a big honking wipeout. The Scary Go Round is a rotating, sweeper-style challenge consisting of a platform and two arms. In this obstacle, the player must jump onto the platform and race to the middle without being knocked into the water by the sweeping arms. The Piston Punch and Blades of Fury are both obstacles consisting of cylinders or blades that swing at the player, looking to send them tumbling into the water. As with many of our challenges, balance and timing are integral. Ah, the game of Wipeout, Johnny. Much like the game of life. The launch pads are a series of three trampolines, all at different heights. The contestants must leap from one trampoline to the other, being sure to avoid falling off the ledge. If they do fall, they must navigate the obstacle again. <laughs> Great catapult to the start of the wipeout zone. chance to advance. Heck of a catapult there. The barrel run is relentless. No doubt about that, the barrels just keep coming. The barrel run just ran all over her. Wham, bam, 
I'm thinking. He is loving his start. Well, he has got to be happy with that barrel run time. No question, Johnny. He is rolling. Couldn't quite manage the gears of doom. Yeah, but they managed them. To doom. Uh, it. Thought you timed the gears correctly there. What? Struggled with the gears. Losing time as we speak. Losing time. I was rooting for the gears of doom. Don't worry, still a lot of time for him to fail. Makes it past the scary go round. I can hardly contain myself. Past the scary go round and beyond. She looked like she enjoyed the plunge. Well, that's encouraging. Yikes, I. The scary go round eats wipeout contestants for breakfast. The scary go round is one carousel that is not fun. It is for us. So true. It's wow, one of the most daunting obstacles is overcome with relative ease. Get to swimming. She showed those pistons and blades, Miss Boss. No time to waste now. You act like there was a bunch of time. And he puts the piston punch and blades of fury in his rear view mirror. Houston, we have a problem on the launch pads. Now that's the way to do the launch pads, people. Job on the launch pads. He really looked like he knew what he was doing. Mo 
most likely to succeed thinks it's kind of funny, thinks it's kind of sad that the others were just so doggone bad. Now he can open up that online gym he's always dreamed of. I don't get it. How can you exercise in front of a computer? Alongside my partners John Anderson and Joe Wagner, I'm John Hanson. Can't wait to catch up next time on White. Welcome back to Wipeout, where people get punched by walls, smacked by fences, and hit by planks. Yeah, it may sound metaphorical, but trust me, it's literal. And it's awesome! Our contestants are here, Johns, and they're ready to go. In round one, there are five obstacles. All unique and challenging, not to mention hilarious and amusing. The banana hammocks are a series of low, wide swings set in the mud that are shaped like, well, you guessed it, bananas. Easy, right? Nope. They also have slippery surfaces so that they slide whenever the player stands on them. Plank in the face and double diving boards combine two of our easier obstacles into one very challenging one. I don't know, it just sounds sketchy. Planks, diving, things in the face. Well, trying for the contestants, nothing but fun for us. The high-low big balls make the big balls even more daunting by adding a little extra wrinkle. Yeah, these big balls just don't sit there, they move up and down as well. And boy, does that dice things up. This challenging obstacle combines the fence flapper with everybody's favorite giant hammer, the door knock. And an odder, more hilarious couple hasn't been seen since Felix and Oscar. Here's another one of our dastardly creations. Put together the rug pull and the rolling stones, and what do you have? What I said, a dastardly creation. Meet Valley Girl, who, like, would rather be shopping. so far. Meet Party Queen, who wants to win so she can drop out of the rat race and party all the time. Meet Mad Cowgirl, a Texan who's determined to win and buy back the family ostrich farm. Meet Most Likely to Succeed, a man who dreams of opening an online fitness studio. Sounds pretty worldwide weird. Look like an Olympic diver. Definitely going for the gold. The big balls have met their match. Stones there. At the conclusion of round one, this is how things stand.
In round two, everybody faces the dreaded sweeper. Yeah, bad for them, good for us. This round of the sweeper, we've added a hoop to the end of the arm. Yeah, and if our players don't time it correctly, they are swept away. Bye-bye. Swept out like yesterday's newspaper. Oh, I keep it. Sweeper showing no mercy. Dude, somebody said, they say the. Swept out like yesterday's newspaper. Here's how we stand after two. In round three, it's a free for all. Yeah, just like my family reunions. Unclaimed baggage is a giant spinner with two walls of large punching bags. A sweeper arm tries to knock players loose as they struggle to be the last one standing. And those who finish first have the added bonus of being able to hurl bags at their competitors. Good times. No ticket, no baggage, ladies and gentlemen. Call me old-fashioned, but that was every... Oh! Unclaimed baggage claimed her as yet another wipeout victim. Looks like she might have been counting her. As a man, I just have to. At the conclusion. The wait is over. We finally reached the wipeout zone. And a big bag of cash awaits the winner. The first obstacle in the wipeout zone is the catapult. Not much strategy here, folks. Just sit back and enjoy the flight. It's non-stop with plenty of in-flight entertainment, at least for us. In this version of the barrel run, the player runs up the ramp as before, but after negotiating one ramp, another ramp awaits. More treacherous for the player, more humorous for us. Thanks, for. In this version of Gears of Doom, we ratchet things up and add one more gear, bringing the total to four. Gears, ratchets, what a bunch of tools. You got that right. This scary go-round has some added challenges. Yeah, we've added a collection of hanging balls and blocks above the extra sweeping arm. Gives me chills just thinking about it. The pistons and blades are going to really fly in this round. Yeah, more blades, more pistons, and they are moving a heck of a lot faster this time. This edition of the launch pads features more trampolines, each higher than the one before. 
Look at it as an opportunity to take your game to the next level. Get a junk? Not much to get, partner. Not much at all. He is loving his start. Out of the game with a great catapult. Oh, fly away home, little. Swim fast to make up for lost time, Johnny. Yeah, not the start he was looking for. She absolutely owned the Gears of Doom. will not be denied. Fly away, little girl, fly away. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Round, round, round. on the dual obstacle, Johnny. Now that's the way to do the launch pads, people. Girl proving that there's nothing cheap about her performance. And now she can get all the acid wash jeans her little heart desires. She certainly got the cash. Another fantastic game of Wipeout comes to an end. For John Anderson and Jill Wagner, this is John Henson. I'll see you next time. Welcome back, everybody. Time to enjoy the humbling journey we call the Game of Wipeout. It takes an enlightened man or woman to walk this path, or just the ability to take a good hard punch. Illuminating. Let's meet our wise contestants. In round one, there are five obstacles. All unique and challenging, not to mention hilarious and amusing. The extreme sweeper trees are similar to regular sweeping trees with one little added bit of excitement. With even more sweeper arms, contestants have to jump and duck their way to victory. And now the real fun begins. Not one obstacle, not two obstacles, but three obstacles are combined here. 
plank in the face, breakaway planks, and the double diving boards combine to make this obstacle the most challenging so far. In the high-low Big Balls Extreme, we add a further challenge to our players. Yeah, they'll have to go a lot farther, and in addition to the balls moving up and down, they'll have to avoid a pesky wrecking ball that swings above them. Pesky? More like spirit crushing. And for our most challenging obstacle so far, we combine the fence flapper, sucker punch, and doorknob. Mix them together, and we've got a recipe for one tasty wipeout. Two obstacles not challenging enough for you? How's three sound? Yeah, in this round, contestants will battle the rug pull, hoop run, and rolling stones. That just sounds hard. Meet Grasshopper, a martial arts buff anxious to strut his stuff. Moving really well here. Meet most likely to succeed. A man who dreams of opening an online fitness studio. Sounds pretty worldwide weird. Meet Valley Girl, who, like, would rather be shopping. Come meet Chef Mutton Shop, a gregarious chef who dreams of going on a world tasting tour. We don't need no stinking boards. Can't believe how well he handled the big balls there. Neither can he. Now, John, the phenomena can be so fleeting. He cruised through the Rolling Stones and is on to the next challenge. At the conclusion of round... In round two, everybody faces the dreaded sweeper. Yeah, bad for them, good for us. The crushing gyro sweeper is similar to the regular gyro sweeper with one itsy bitsy difference. Yeah, the end of the arm consists of two pieces which come together to crush those who are not up to the challenge. Oh joy! They went down in a blaze of glory. can wipe that silly grin off her face. He won't be moving on. The sweeper's out of that. He won't be moving on. 
Hang on. Sweeper's out of that. Oh, done for the day. Oh, There's money in the bank there. Too many more wipeouts and money in the bank to be out of the question. Oh, as a diver, that was great. The wipeout. At the conclusion of round two, this is how... In round three, it's a free-for-all. Yeah, just like my family reunions. The Double Cross is a juiced-up version of the sweeper. Instead of one sweeper arm, Double Cross has four. The players must run across four platforms while avoiding the mechanical arm. Yeah, not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> The wait is over. We finally reached the wipeout zone. And a big bag of cash awaits the winner. The first obstacle in the wipeout zone is the catapult. Not much strategy here, folks. Just sit back and enjoy the flight. It's nonstop with plenty of in-flight entertainment, at least for us. In the extreme version of the barrel run, there's not one ramp, not two ramps, but a grand total of three ramps with barrels flying down at them. Three times the challenge, three times the fun. Oh boy, time for the Gears of Doom Extreme, where we double the number of gears, creating two sets of three for a total of six gears to navigate. Yeah, good luck with that one, gang. This scary go-round is even scarier, Johnny. Yeah, this obstacle is even taller and has multiple platforms. All for our own personal amusement park. The extreme version of Piston Punch and Blades of Fury features even more blades, even more pistons, even more toe-tingling fun. I feel my toes tingling right now. In this version of launch pads, you're in for even more fun. Yeah, even more trampolines, each higher than the one before. Positively uplifting. He is loving his start. is start. Timing and agility on the gears there, John. Yeah, you should be a mechanic or something. And 
I anticipate a strong finish. And I anticipate a strong finish. And he brings it home with gusto. Grasshopper hopped all over the obstacles today and snatched the pebble of victory from the others. Now he can afford to open up his own dojo and beat people up all day long. I'd pay to see that. <laughs> Alongside my partners John Anderson and Joe Wagner, I'm John Henson. Can't wait to catch up next time on White House.